so hi students uh, good evening so today we will see uh, previous year question papers based on the radiation topic okay we'll see one by one so in radiation we have already seen the theory basic definitions about radiation governing law for radiation that is the stephen boltzmann law okay so these are the things we have seen in the radiation and some of the laws like uh, wind's displacement law okay then um, what is shape factor what is a view factor shape factor or view factor both are same okay so these are the things we have studied in radiation so based on that we will see the number of questions asked in the previous years in different different states okay we will see one by one so first question the emissive power of a black body is directly proportional to so while i am taking the definition for radiation i have uh, shared this formula so this is formula based question but they asked theoretically so the formula for the emissive power in radiation the emissive power is always directly proportional to in stephen boltzmann law also we have studied emissive power is always directly proportional to fourth power of its temperature all bodies hmm, which are all having the absolute temperature okay more than 0 kelvin will emit radiation and that mc power will be always directly proportional to fourth power of its temperature okay that is the answer for this next so the answer is option b fourth power of temperature okay next assume it is a solid surface then okay solid surface means it's a kind of opaque body okay so in opaque body or like you take a wood okay in wood what will happen will it uh, transmit the heat from one end to another end so that in the radiation we have seen one concept like what is the absorption what is the reflection and what is the transmission okay so any object if you take if there is a fall of radiation or if there is an incident radiation on the object it will emit or reflect some amount of radiation energy which is falling on the body it will absorb some amount of energy and it will transmit some amount of energy this is called radiation okay any object if you take any object and this absorption reflection transmission will vary with respect to the type of object okay so if you take a, a type of body if you take a black body black body will absorb all amount of incident radiation suppose uh, if you take white body it will reflect uh, all uh, sorry uh, any other body it will reflect some amount of energy like it, it's not like a black body okay if if you take a gray body it will absorb some amount of energy irrespective of the uh, it will absorb some percentage of energy irrespective of their wavelength okay so this is how the absorption reflection and transmission will vary with respect to the type of bodies okay now see if they give you as a solid object then if you consider any solid object that solid body or opaque body that will not uh, transmit the heat energy from one end to another end it will not uh, transmit but it will absorb some amount and it will reflect some amount some percentage of heat energy it will absorb and some um, percentage of heat energy it will reflect but it will definitely will not it will not definitely transmit the heat energy which is falling on the object to the from one end to the another end so transmissivity for the solid object or opaque body will be always is equal to zero actually in radiation there is one concept that we should remember from this at least one question we can expect what is that is this formula also i have already told while we see the theory class i have already told alpha plus rho plus tau is equal to 1 where alpha is the absorption rho is the reflection tau is the transmission so for solid body i am telling there is no absorption then what is the formula alpha plus rho equal to 1 then where is this option is given option a in option a they given alpha plus rho is equal to 1 why because for solid surface or opaque surface what is equal to 0 tau equal to 0 so if you equate tau is equal to 0 remaining things alpha plus rho equal to 1 that is the formula for opaque body okay So now, based on that, numerical also they will give. For a glass, you see this problem you can solve it. Easily you can solve this type of problem. So for a glass plate, transmissivity is given as 
0.86 reflectivity is given as 0.08 okay plate is glass plate find the absorptivity <coughs> we have to find out the absorptivity of the glass plate so what is the general formula for this alpha plus rho plus tau equal to 1 so you should know the meaning for all those things alpha rho tau what is alpha alpha is the absorption that only they are asking so let it be alpha plus reflectivity is given as 0 0.08 reflectivity means rho so 0 0.08 plus tau is also given transmissivity is given which is 0 0.86 so 0 0.86 equal to 1 so if you simplify this then alpha value is 0 0.86 Zero 06 so this much amount of energy is absorbed by the glass plate which is equal to 0 0.06 okay that is the answer for this question this type of question most important so why because i am marking this is important so many number of times this type of question they are repeatedly asking so you give more importance to this type of questions in radiation okay next what is the unit for Stephen Boltzmann constant so that while I was taking the unit uh, there is section for the Stephen Boltzmann law where I already mentioned the unit for Stephen Boltzmann constant is important okay so what is the Stephen Boltzmann constant value first Stephen Boltzmann constant value is 5.67 into 10 to the power of minus 8 watts per meter square Kelvin power 4 this is the Stephen Boltzmann constant sigma equal to this value which is 5.67 into 10 to the power of minus a what is the unit this only the question unit of Stephen Boltzmann constant is watts per meter squared Kelvin power 4 but if you check the answer absence there is no such units given in the answer absence so how can you uh, identify the answer option which is uh, equivalent to this uh, watts per meter squared Kelvin power 4 so here there is no unit directly given but indirectly it is available inside the option so instead of what 1 watts equal to you can say 1 joules per second okay 1 kilowatt equal to 1 kilojoules per second so instead of what I can write joules per second so how can I rewrite this equation watts equal to joules per second so joules per second remaining things you let it write same as meter square Kelvin power 4 now what is the unit for Stephen Boltzmann constant I got I can rewrite this watts per meter square Kelvin power 4 equal to joules per second meter square Kelvin power 4 now you check the answer options this option which I have found is this and this is given in the answer option so now what is the unit for Stephen Boltzmann constant I can say either watts per meter square Kelvin power 4 or joules per second meter square Kelvin power 4 so the answer is option C joules per second meter square Kelvin power 4 okay next now this type of diagram they will give in the question paper and they will ask you in this diagram what is a black body what is a gray body and what is a real body you should identify A B C so uh, I, I will draw the diagram here this is the graph they will give like this and in x axis it will be like in Wayne's displacement law we have studied is the ratio between the uh, wavelength mc power and the temperature so here in the x axis I am taking lambda max or lambda and in y axis I am taking mc power ok so that is one straight line another one is a dotted line and another one line is a curved line like sine wave like this in this they have mentioned this strike line is a and this daughter line is b and this curved line is c so we have to identify a is uh, what body b is what body c is what body in answer options they have given gray either a is gray b is black c is white in the answer option b B is grey, your A is grey, B real, C black. In option C, A is black, B is real and C is grey. Option D, A is black, B is grey, 
C is real. So how to identify? Actually, we have studied the definition for black body and grey body. Okay, real body is actually how in real world that is called the real world, real body. Okay, black body means what the black body will do. Black body, how much amount of radiation is coming? All amount of radiation it will absorb. Then it will be in thermal equilibrium with the surroundings. How? What is the thermal equilibrium? The temperature of the object and surrounding will be at same. So it will absorb and emit both the things the black body will do so that the emissive power of the black body will be constant. So this y axis I am taking as the emissive. You see the line I have drawn straight line. It is indicating that the emissive power is constant. Emissive power of the A body is constant. If there is a any body where the emissive power is same at all the wavelengths, okay, then that type of body is black body. Okay. It will absorb and emit all amount of radiation. Okay. Next. Uh, this data line you see. So, so you should know the meaning for the grey body. You should know the definition for the grey body. What is a grey body? It will absorb some percentage or certain percentage of incident radiation irrespective of the wavelength. Okay. So, suppose some 5 uh, micrometer wavelength is coming and falling on the body. Okay. So, in that also it will absorb some, let us fix the absorption percentage is 40 percent. Okay. If you send some high wavelength also, it will absorb the same amount of wavelength only. It will absorb same amount of radiation energy 